Hi everybody, my name is Michael Petrie and I represent Starting Box. We're part of a CEQA, an independent national authority that promotes quality early childhood education and care. Last month I was live on Facebook to discuss some of the important steps to consider when choosing a childcare centre. If you haven't yet watched the video and are interested in the topic, please visit Starting Box's Facebook page and you'll find it in the video section. Today I'm back with another interesting topic, how you can build a strong link or partnership between your home and your childcare centre and how you can build a positive relationship with the educators and staff. This is particularly important as research shows that children benefit when their routines and experiences at home and in childcare are supportive of one another and there is a good working partnership between families and educators. Also, familiar routines and practices can help relieve a child's separation anxiety. It helps them to predict what's going to happen next and encourages them to feel as though they have a sense of control over what is happening in their environment. So, what can you do to build this link between your home and your childcare centre? Firstly, imagine the types of experiences and routines your child is likely to have at the centre. Think about how these routines might be different from what happens at your home and how you can help your child to understand the routines at the centre. For example, you could talk to your child about how they might sit in the chair for meals and snacks at the centre and you can help them practice this at home. Secondly, speak to the educators at the centre about the experience, experiences that are important to your child's daily routine. Your child's orientation visits in particular are a good time to talk and share information. And finally, tell the educators at the centre about any words, phrases or visual cues that you use at home with your child for routines, such as words you might use during feeding or toileting. Now there are always going to be differences between what happens at home and in the centre, but let's now look at five specific areas that you can really try and keep consistent. The first is in the area of behaviour. In order to encourage good behaviour in your child, it's important for you to act as their role model. There's a famous quote by American writer Mark Quain who said, children are natural mimics who like their parents despite every effort to teach them good manners. So for instance, if you want, you want your child to say please, they should hear you saying it and they should also hear their ed educators saying it as well. Consistent messaging at home and at the centre will help them understand what behaviour is acceptable and what is not. The second area is in sleep and rest. Tell the staff at the centre about what you do at home while settling your child. What you say or you sing to them if you do this. Tell them if your child has a comfort item like a blanket or a special toy that helps them settle and rest and sleep. The third area is in sun safety. Slip on a shirt, slop on sunscreen, slap on a hat. You know the message. And just make sure it's emphasised at the service and at home when your child goes out in the sun. This helps your child understand that it's critical to protect their skin in all environments. The fourth area, toilet training. If you want your child's toilet training to be effective, make sure you tell their child, the childcare centre what you're doing at home to help them use the toilet. Identify the signals that you see when your child is ready to go to the toilet. The fifth is hygiene. Now you may be following some routines to teach your child about hygiene at home. So for example, they should wash their hands before eating, after using the toilet, touching an animal, and also teach them about the correct way to wash their hands and wipe them. Well, tell your, the staff at the centre about this so that they can encourage to use these sort of cues as well at the school. In addition to all this, keep the staff members at the centre up to date about anything impacting your child at home. For example, if the child was ill over the weekend, you're moving house, they've lost a pet, anything that's going to, going to impact on your child's uh, ability and routine in the centre. And when you're at the centre, make sure you're asking the educators about what your child has learned their development, their interests, their sleeping and toileting during the day, who they've played with, what they like, and any unusual events that might affect them. So to sum all of that up, very simply, make sure there's open communication between you, the staff, the centre and your child. This is really important to building this link between your home and the childcare centre. Now, I hope what I've shared with you here today is of interest. Please like it and share it with your friends. You'll also find the information on the Starting Blocks website on one of our very, very good fact sheets. So please like and share us with your friends. Uh, we'll be back next month with a very important uh, topic to, to share with you. Uh, in the interim, please go to our Facebook page, go to our website, and we'll be back to you very soon. If you have any questions in the meantime, please leave them in the, in the question section on the side there, and our staff will come back to you as soon as we can. Thanks again for joining in and we look, to, look forward to speaking to you again next month. Thank you.